Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the Intel Iris XE graphics integrated in the i5 11320H CPU in Spider-Man Remastered. You can see all of the GPU specs here in Tech Power Up's GPU Z. It's a Tiger Lake GT2 GPU with 96 execution units. And over on the left in CPU Z, you can see all of the CPU specs. Four cores, eight threads, Tiger Lake U CPU. And over on the left in Task Manager, we got the RAM configuration, 16 gigabytes. 3200 megahertz in this config right here kind of weird but this is a mini pc uh, it's the th50 from minis forum let's get into it now shall we that it's supposed to be a city there okay there we go <laughs> what the hell all right took a while to render the city actually that's concerning what is this resolution what the heck okay let's start this off at 1080p resolution okay and very low settings this is a preset right here why is this on high i don't know let's set it to very low as well and actually disable these actually we need to disable everything pretty much because this is intel xy graphics i don't think it will be playable in this game so uh yeah let's try this out now oh Oh, what the heck is this? Did it not load or something? Was it because I changed the depth of field? I, I don't understand. Why is this black? What the hell? Are we the bad Spider-Man? Oh, it's the shadow. I see. It's the shadows. Look at this. Holy crap. That is insane. What the? I have never seen this game like this. I have seen it with weird shadow bugs uh, with the RX 580, for example, and some of the other AMD cards, but <laughs> not like this. What the hell? All right, I'll need to restart the game. To talk about. Right, so after a restart, it's exactly the same, guys. Wow, what the hell? All of the people here. I, I didn't notice that the, the streets were so crowded previously, honestly. Uh, but uh, this is... This is stupid, actually. I think they have broken one of the settings with the latest update. I'm also using the latest drivers for the Intel XE graphics. And uh, I now disable TAA, by the way, just to give it a little bit extra FPS. I think it is because of the ambient occlusion right here. As you can see, if I enable SSAO, it's good. Like the game, when it came out, HBAO Plus was having some issues. And now apparently only SSAO works. Which is kind of bad, but uh, look at the FPS. It gets 30 FPS, and with it disabled, it gets 30 FPS. So it shouldn't really matter too much to the performance. And, uh, well, like this, it is playable with these graphics. <laughs> All right, let's start counting our FPS now that everything is applied and running as it should. And uh, take a little walk around here, or a little uh, fly. I, it's not a walk nor a fly. Let's take a little swing, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> so it's dropping into the uh, mid-20s, pretty much the same as we've seen previously with TAA and the buggy shadows, I guess. Um, maybe it drops a little bit more right now, but you know what? For Intel XC graphics to be playing this game at 1080p resolution, although it's very low settings, still looks pretty good. And it's just amazing, right? Because out here, out of the Central Park area, it gets 30 plus FPS. That means if you lock the FPS to 30, it's gonna be pretty stable and a console-like experience, or last-gen console-like experience at least. That's just crazy for integrated graphics, especially after seeing the GT 1030 struggling so much in this game with like 20 FPS, even lower than that at 1080p. Yeah, this is amazing, guys. I did not expect it to be this good, honestly, at 1080p. I thought it would struggle a heck of a lot at this resolution, but that is not the case. That means that we should probably test it out at 4K as well, right? <laughs> That's a terrible idea, but I'm gonna do it, because <laughs> we're stupid sometimes. Yes, or I am. <laughs> not you, I'm sorry, okay? So looking at the city from here, it does drop to about the same values as we saw in the Central Park area. But honestly, for integrated graphics, I think this is a playable experience still. Even though it drops to the cinematic frame rates, it's good for this kind of system, right? I, I can barely hear it as well. Yeah, what the hell? It's actually way more silent than when I was installing the game. Because <laughs> when I was installing the game, it was using like 80 to 90% of the CPU. And it was pretty loud, but now while playing it, it's only using 30% or so. Wow, that's... That's kind of insane how how bad these windows look. <laughs> you should definitely avoid staring at windows like this, because it's 
terrible. But look at that, getting 60s now on top of this building, because we don't need to render much. Looking back at the entire city, 25, 26, nothing that we haven't seen yet, you know, in terms of FPS. But now comes the most intensive scenario, and it does drop from 20 frames per second. So I don't really consider it that playable anymore, like over here at least. But hey, it could be a heck of a lot worse, guys, and I thought it would be. So I'm still surprised at this performance coming from integrated Intel XC graphics. That's all right. And the CPU is not bottlenecking it either, which is great. This game is also very, very CPU intensive, but not really at the very low settings. Um, so let's go up to 4K resolution. <laughs> It's gonna be stupid, I know. I'm sorry, guys, but, you know, I gotta try these things out sometimes. 4K, 14 and 15 frames per second. I should probably restart the game to make sure that everything fully applies. 15, 14, 13 FPS. Super sharp right now, not gonna lie. That's actually super impressive, uh, the graphics, but... <laughs> Why am I saying that 4K is super impressive? I already know that 4K is super impressive. Probably because I just got a new monitor. Bigger one, 32 inches 4K, and it looks absolutely fantastic here. Wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is only for screenshots, but not really because it's very low settings. It's completely unplayable at 4K, so I will uh, enable some FSR 2.0. Alright, AMD FSR 2.0 on balanced. Let's enable that. I think we don't need to restart every time with Intel XC graphics because the VRAM is actually RAM. And the problem with the other GPUs that I test usually is that whenever it runs out of VRAM, it's, it starts using system RAM as VRAM as usual. But then when I set a new resolution, it doesn't swap the textures that loaded into the RAM into the VRAM anymore, which is kind of weird. And I think it's because the game is made for consoles or was made for consoles first of course and those systems have shared ram and this one does as well that said balanced fsr 2.0 looks extremely nice here at 4k but obviously it runs extremely badly so yeah let's stop it there <laughs> We should not use uh, any settings here at 4K resolution. Even ultra performance FSR 2.0 shouldn't be playable. Or is it? Or is it? Holy crap. Okay, 20s. That's starting to feel way more playable, although it's still terrible and it kind of looks worse. Definitely looks worse than native 1080p resolution. Uh, and it performs worse, so... Yeah, there's no point in doing this, obviously. <laughs> there is a lot of haloing or shimmering and noise around Spider-Man. Pixelation, basically. It's really, really weird. 1080p FSR 2.0 on quality. It actually looks pretty decent, like this. Oh, wow, getting 40s now. That's really good, guys. Although, with the 32-inch monitor, I can definitely tell all of those imperfections of FSR 2.0 here in this game. With the 27-inch monitor, it was kind of harder to tell. It was still very noticeable that FSR 2.0 was enabled, uh, but it was harder to tell for sure. Once again, I think we don't need to restart the game because this is using RAM as VRAM anyways, but just to make sure, I... I restart it every single time, okay? Every single time I make a change in the settings menu. Um, all right, so looking back at the city, still dropping into the 20s. I guess it's a bandwidth limit at this point. Come on, Spider-Man, what the heck? Oh, no, go up, 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 not there. What the hell are you doing? And looking back, uh, 25, 27, same thing, guys. It's probably gonna drop from 20 still over here. Oh, uh, it didn't. Okay, there's a little bit of an improvement even in worst case scenario in bandwidth limitation scenarios. Uh, but it's pretty bad. I think where we're gonna see the most difference here with FSR 2.0 on quality compared to native resolution is in the Central Park area. So that's exactly what, where we're gonna go right now. I can't get over the fact that this is very low settings, guys. It looks absolutely beautiful still. I mean, what the hell? Comparing, like, high settings to low, high looks way, way better. Like, when I test high and low in the same video. But here, well, since I don't have the high settings for comparison, and the last time that I played this game was, like, a couple of days ago, so I don't remember it properly, 
it still looks really impressive to me. Uh, I'm really curious to see like what the next gen integrated GPUs will do. By the way, that should be really, really nice. Imagine if we can play games at like 1080p, high settings, 30 FPS. That would be incredible, right? With integrated graphics. And uh, all right, Central Park area, finally. We got 30s now instead of like mid 20s. Still drops though. Not that huge of an improvement. I was expecting a little bit better, honestly. Yeah, I remember it dropping to like these same values previously, maybe even to 25 only. So the same thing. Maybe we are still bandwidth limited in this area as well. I'm gonna disable this. We're gonna set it down to 900p. Okay, here we go. That's a very common resolution and uh, kind of adequate for Intel XE graphics in a lot of titles. Okay, here we are looking at the Central Park from above. Not bad, 30s. Okay. What about looking in this direction? 40s sometimes. That's really impressive, actually. And uh, unfortunately, over here, since, once again, it's kind of bandwidth limited as well. It drops from 30 still. I don't think even at 720p it will be like 30 plus FPS all of the time. But as long as it is like 25 plus all of the time, I think you can still manage to play like this. Especially because sometimes it goes up into the 40s and most of the times it will actually be around 30 frames per second. If you're just swinging around the buildings and stuff like that. Yeah, it's not as intensive, so it is pre pretty playable. Keep in mind, some missions will be in the Central Park area, some missions will be on top of buildings and stuff like that, and that will obviously lower your FPS, taking a look at the entire city, for example. Yeah, that that's just normal. You're gonna see some fluctuation for sure. But all right, looking fantastic still, especially because that SSAO is still enabled. <laughs> it makes a big difference and it looks really, really nice compared to SSAO off. So that might be why it still looks really good here at very low, honestly, aside from the reflections, of course. Still dropping sometimes around here, looking at the city, yep, higher 20s. Spider bug, spider bug, let's go, here we are. Taking a look back at the city, pretty much the same thing as previously, and dropping from here, I believe it's gonna be pretty much the same thing as well. So 20 FPS, yeah, it's like FSR 2.0 enabled on quality and at the 1080p resolution doesn't really change by all that much. The experience is pretty similar. I do think it looks a little bit better here at native 900p though. So what about 900p with FSR 2.0 on quality? Yeah, that's, that's not too bad looking. It's like you applied anti-aliasing basically, but whenever you move, there is still that halo effect. The thing is, if you are running a smaller monitor, it will look way better than it looks to me. Yeah, it's all right, guys. It's a little bit too shimmery, but I could get used to it if it meant that we got like 30 plus or around 30, especially in the Central Park area. And here we are, taking a look back. 28, okay, didn't drop to 25 here anymore. Oh, oh, oh that's not what I wanted to do. Wait a second, wait a second. All right, here we go. Oh, now it dropped to 24 there. Did you see that? And it is gonna drop now. 22, we gained like two frames per second in worst case scenario. It still drops into the lower 20s and even 20 FPS. Again, guys, even at 720p, that's gonna be pretty much the same thing because uh, it's just a bandwidth issue at this point and a resolution drop doesn't really do anything in those scenarios. I think I would just choose to play at 1080p, honestly, because well, it looks way better and the experience itself is actually similar. Sometimes it's more stable at the lower resolutions, yes. Like we're getting more FPS around this area, 40s, 30s. It still drops though. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. I mean, it's the same experience at 900p and 1080p. Let's see in the Central Park though. Maybe we'll see a difference there. Not dropping to the lower 20s anymore around here. Not even into the mid 20s, unless you consider 27 mid 20s. It's dropped to 26 though for a second, but it's just a little improvement, guys. It is a little bit better.
if you must play with 30 fps maybe 720p will actually be the the best resolution for you so go down to 720p 1280 by 720 if you're interested by the way the, the 1366 by 768 res gets almost the same fps as 720p it's almost the same amount of pixels so uh, there's that uh, and let's apply this Oh, getting 40s around here. That's nice. Just gonna restart it. Right, after the restart, it's pretty much getting the same FPS. Let's go. Start counting the frames here. Not bad so far. Let's go down there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, it started dropping already, but down here it is way better, I guess. It is now above 30 at native 720p. It looks sharper now than it did at uh, 900p with quality FSR because, well, it's just native 720 without any anti-aliasing. It looks really pixelated to me, but again, on a smaller monitor, it might look pretty decent. All right, not too bad. It dropped to like what? 28 minimum, maybe 27? Yeah, not... Oh my gosh. All right, I, I, I'm not going to say not too bad again, okay? I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself, but this is very impressive now. Damn, that is good actually for Intel XC. If you don't mind the 720p res, and a lot of you will actually have this CPU and GPU combo uh, in a laptop. So on a like 15 inch laptop, it might look pretty decent at 720p. And it's almost always above 30 FPS. Most of the time, like 95% of the time, it's going to be 30 plus. That's impressive. Here we go. Oh, 30 again. I'm impressed. Wow. Okay, this this might be the, the actual good experience with the XC graphics and the thing that I'd go for. Unless you really want better graphics and don't mind 25 FPS locked or something like that. On top of this, it should drop to the same values as previously, I guess. Yeah, 28. Stabilizes in the 30s. Not too bad. Oh, come on. Always missing that now. Ah, come on. Come on, Spidey. Let's go. No! Why? Why? Where do you even throw the damn spider web? Like, there is nothing here. What the hell? All right, let's go. Okay, finally. Dropping to 23, 24. We got a couple more FPS, I guess. It's not dropping to 20 flat anymore, but uh, it's not perfect either, obviously. Well, I, I guess if you don't mind 25 FPS, uh, lock it to, to that value. You can actually get used to it and play at 25 FPS. After like 10 minutes, you're going to get used to it. It's going to feel like 30, I guess. Um, and play at 1080p. If you care about performance a lot, well, 720p is here for you. 48 FPS average is very impressive for this little uh, integrated graphics. So let's go to FSR 2.0 on quality. It's going to be terrible. Oof. Lots of pixelation now. 28 still. It's going to get exactly the same as without FSR, I think, here at 720p. Everything is blinking at the distance as well. Wow, I, I have not seen FSR being so bad in this game previously with other GPUs, you know. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the same thing, guys. I think... I am going to stop it. It's just not really that enjoyable here with FSR 2.0 at lower resolutions because it just looks terrible. Uh, so I will go ahead and test it out at 800 by 600 native resolution now. And that's going to be it for this video. going to disable this because it looked awful. And let's go. Restart the game. It's interesting that it still stays at 16 by 9, by the way. Oh, that is... I'm not sure if it looks better or worse than FSR 2.0 at 720p. <laughs> it's not too bad because it's not stretched like 4x3 resolutions are usually. It still maintains the aspect ratio, which is good, like in Call of Duty, for example. A lot of games don't do that, but uh, yeah, this does. And COD Warzone and like GTA 5 also comes to mind. Oh my god, we're getting such higher FPS looking at this guy. 150, that's crazy. Alright, can we actually see an improvement here? Can we stay above 30 FPS looking back at the city? While dropping, it can't, but maybe looking back... 30 what? Or 30 was actually the minimum there, wasn't it? Wow! 
Of course here it still drops, <laughs> even though it looks like crap. Again, bandwidth limitation. I, I, I gotta stop saying that, you already know, right? But uh, that was impressive up there, you know. Didn't drop from 30. And over here it's not really dropping by all that much either. I mean, would you play like this? Honestly, I, I'm asking you guys, please answer in the comments below. I want to know if somebody out there is willing to play at 800 by 600 like this with to achieve like 30 plus FPS 95% of the time or something like that. I played a lot of games back in the days at 640 by 480. This is a step above that. so <laughs> It's not too bad looking. You can actually get used to all of that shimmer and pixelation. And the 30 FPS feels good. It feels good compared to 720p. But I don't know, the 25 XP FPS experience at 1080p also looks pretty promising. I I don't know, since this is a single player title I might have gone for 25 FPS, 1080p and play like that. But can't deny this is feeling really nice here, doesn't drop. Alright, so we found it, 30 plus FPS experience is possible, oh, 28 there, with Intel XE graphics. It's not very enjoyable because of the graphics, but it is playable. It is decent and it is possible for you to have fun like this. And that's all that matters, of course. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was informative to you. Let me know if you're buying this game with Intel XE graphics. I'm not sure if I would, honestly, but if you are desperate to play Spider-Man, it is possible like this. So yeah, thanks for watching again. See you guys in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.